Hi guys and welcome. Are you having slow internet speeds and you want to increase them for free? Well in this video I will show you how to increase internet speeds up to three times by making at home a bandwidth transformer. Alright so here we have a normal setup, how it would be normally set up in your house. I'm um, showing we do have internet so let's go do a bandwidth test. Right, so here we are on speedtest.net. Do the test. It's testing the ping right now and download speed. Looks like it's hovering around 6.1, around 6.5 megabytes per second download speed, which is pretty good. Although I think for Comcast, I pay for it up to 50. So, and for upload speed, we're looking at around, wow, faster than my download speed? Interesting. 8.48 megabytes per second. And here we have the bandwidth transformer set up. Um, do have internet going around the coil. Uh, into the switch, out of the switch, back around the coil, and then into my router. So, internet check. So, let's go do a test. Uh, let's test the ping. 31 milliseconds. Wow, look at that. Wow. A lot faster. Almost 60 megabytes per second download speed. It's incredible. And now let's check the upload. So, the upload is slower than before. That's really, it's weird, but download is way faster so that's uh that's great and it's free so um, all with a couple ethernet cables so to make this here's the materials you need first off you need some sort of permeable metal object i preferred a soda can as you can see you need a shorter about a six foot cat five cable a longer 20 foot or so cat 5 cable. This one is 25 feet. Anything will work as long as it's longer than the other one. You'll need a switch. This is a Linksys 5 port switch. And you obviously need your router. And to secure everything onto the permeable metal cylinder, you will need tape. Okay, so step one take your permeable metal object and your shorter six foot or so cat five cable and you're gonna wrap it around like so now this is gonna be your first coil which is gonna induce a larger transfer speed onto your bigger coil which is gonna be wrapped around it you want it pretty tight because it'll It'll keep the um, keep the flux prevent the flux from leaking out. So um, I'm just gonna do a quick job on here. And obviously, when you're making it, you probably wanna do a better job. But uh, so pretty tight somewhere in the center. And now the can. It's pretty neat. What the can does is it keeps the flux from there permeates, and it basically keeps the, the flux, the data transfer, spinning around. And you use the right hand rule. So it keeps the flux inside here from leaking out, and it, and it keeps it inside. All right, so now this is what it's gonna look like. Tight coil, and your shorter one. And you're gonna take your longer, take your longer one and wrap it around. That's it. You're gonna leave some, on this one, you probably wanna leave some, maybe a foot or so off of it, but um, this is a monster cable I'm using, so it's, it's kind of thick, so it might be kind of hard to wrap around. But uh, essentially, this is this is a lot of how transformers work in electronics distribution and something like that. You have your smaller coil inducing a larger transfer um, data speeds onto your larger coil, and that's just going to give you your faster internet. It's not crap. It's almost like a it's like a speed booster. I got probably 15 feet or so wrapped around the longer coil over the shorter coil. In the electronics world, this is called a transformer, but what I'm dubbing it is a bandwidth transformer. It's essentially the same, looks on the same principles of, you know, you have your, your smaller coil in here creating a flux which induces a larger voltage because there's a bigger coil around, around on the, there's a bigger coil around this one. Step number three, once you have your coils done, around your permeable metallic object, you're going to start your 
build process of connecting everything. So, to make this pretty simple, one of these connections, of your shorter coil, is going to connect to, or connect from, your internet service provider box. I don't know what it's called. So this is coming, your internet, which normally just connects straight to your Wi-Fi router, right? So you're going to go into your in port on your switch. Granted, and remember, internet's going in through the blue coil, going around here into your switch. Now, what you want to do now is take your, one of your ends of your larger coil and connect it into one of the ports, the outlet ports here, and then the other end. And you want to plug it into the internet portion of your Wi-Fi router. So, the reason I have all this extra coil is because I'm probably going to set this farther away somewhere in my house, and then so it's farther away in my box. Now when you make this, you might want to leave a little more coil here because there's not much room. Alright, so here's some, uh, some mathematical proof. I was looking through some of my old college books, and um, here's your basic transformer setup. This is like an auto transformer, kind of what we have, but it's for bandwidth instead. Um, we have our shorter coil here, and our larger coil here. Um, uh, ship boilers for power systems. Um, you can read a little bit about power cables and its ampacity. Now this isn't necessarily a power cable, it's a data transfer cable, so instead of having one large stranded cable, it has multiple smaller strand cables. So basically having the turns increased on the outside, having more turns, basically your turn ratio better, you're going to get a higher ampacity, you can just read this really quick and see it, but you're going to get a higher ampacity in the, in the outer on the outer coil and that's going to basically increase your your bandwidth your internet speed um, it further shows in here that you're going to get um, diminishing return um, with if you go more than three turns when you're doing a bandwidth um, instead of just a normal transformer so just keep it at, at a three to one turn ratio if possible all right now I'm looking at my nuclear reactor engineering uh, book there's a little bit about uh, electron flux for transformers so basically this graph is showing that the more turns you have and the farther the turns are away from the, the inner turns so the farther this cable is from this cable you're gonna get less of a an, an ampacity gain versus if it's closer so this is this you know this is basically your distance from your center and um, your number of turns so so if you can try to wrap it tighter than I did but um then again, this should work just fine.